Thank you, Tony. Here we are again at another All Hands meeting. Big shout out to all our employees across the continent. Hoping you're having a great day and enjoying the show. As Tony mentioned, I've been working closely with the Awesome Ops team over the past several months. Working with Carmine, Jeff, Brian and Anthony, along with Teresa. We are meeting regularly to review our day-to-day -day challenges and strategizing on solutions. We are continuously looking at our processes that we have in place, ensuring that we remain effective and efficient. And as I mentioned in the previous All Hands meeting, I'm very confident that with this team, we will make Roma a better and stronger company. Today I'll be touching on a few points, team performance, supply chain, as well as DC improvements. On team performance, production lead times which is defined as all production lead times are quoted in business days. We continue to stay steady with our lead times, with length being at one day, joint frames being at three days, and chops at two. As well, we have our corner samples at 25 days, and our mirrors at, sorry, our photo frames at 15 days. And finally, we have a mirror set at 15 days as well, in art fulfillment at 25 days. As you mentioned, this is quoted in business days. We send this out on a weekly basis. We communicate this to our customer care team as well as our BPS teams so that they are aware of what we are, where we stand in operations. Just to note that these days may fluctuate slightly depending on the volume that we receive. But for the most part, we try to achieve these days on a day-to-day -day basis. Our fill rate. Our fill rate is defined as the percentage of orders that are completed, filled, and delivered on time. We're currently at 83% year-to-date. Our goal is 92%. Although we're not at our goal, that's a very great number to, to be hitting, 83%. Slight variance of 9%. That's kudos to the production team to their leaders, to the hard work. We're all trying to get to 92, absolutely. But right now, at 83, we are, we're happy with that number. I mean, it's not great. We'd like to be higher, but I think overall we're doing a great job, considering that there are many factors that affect, affect the fill rate. Um, inventory, orders that are on hold because of waiting for instructions, etc. But I'm pleased to announce that when you look at orders that we have in-house and we have inventory to fill and those orders are ready on the floor, we're between 95 and 100% fill rate on those orders. So kudos to the production team, doing a great job there. Keep up the great work. You can see over the past several years, we fluctuated between 89. We were down to 76 last year, but we're back on the upswing to 83. So looking forward to hitting that 92% rate by the end of the year. Internal cost of poor quality. This is cost associated with products or services not meeting Roma standards and our customer expectations. We're currently at 5%. Our goal is 5%, which is a great achievement. However, in true Roma fashion, we're not going to stop there. We're not satisfied by hitting our goal. We want to bring that number lower because that number is a cost of the company. And we want to try to achieve a lower number here. We work closely with their vendors. Uh, I know Ross is in constant communication with them, um, trying to rectify any quality issues that we do face to rectify them for future orders. So Ross, thanks for all you do there and let's keep working hard to bring that number lower. As you can see, over the past several years, that number was quite high, anywhere between 7.3 to 8.4. As you can see this year, we've dropped it down to five, and hopefully by the end of the year, that's even lower. Our return rate, which is defined as a percentage of all, re all orders returned. Our goal is 3.2. We're at 2.6%, 2 
with a positive variance of 0.6%. Reason for this, as we know, is past several years, we introduced a return process policy where we really focused in on the returns and how we can better that whole process to ensure that returns are kept to a minimal. And again, over the past several years, you can see the decline. In 2019, before we put this policy in place, we were over 5%. Now we're down to 2.6. We've cut that in half. And that's a great job, and that's a testament to everyone involved. And we want to bring that number lower because that is a cost of the company. And at the end of the day, we want to minimize our cost in every, every which way possible. Supply chain. Huh. I think those two words will be the most famous words used in 2022. We hear it all, day in and day out, how businesses are being affected by supply chain challenges throughout the globe. Here at Roma, however, we put a focus on this. We've always focused on our supply chain. We've always done our best to have a relationship with our vendors to ensure that that partnership is tight and that if there are challenges, we can easily overcome them. And how are we doing this? We're working with our vendors to ensure that they secure raw materials, ensure that the lumber is available to fill all our orders. We've talked to them and they've ensured us that they're going to increase their capacity on their end. Again, making sure that they're able to produce, to fill out our POs, to ensure that they hit our, uh, our volumes that we are required or requesting and have them shipped to us. And last but not least, our partnership with our shipping and our freight carriers. We've had that partnership for a long time now, thanks to John, Tony, um, and they've put us sort of front of the line. They're helping us expedite our shipments so that we can get our product here sooner. So this is all a function of the fact that we have John, Tony, as well as Ross, who are in constant communication with their vendors on a daily basis, minute to minute. I'm sure as I'm speaking to you now, Ross is probably texting with one of our vendors. John is on the call with one of them. Tony's probably FaceTiming them. We're in constant communication with them, and it's vital. And we know that it's vital and important for Roma, and so we're continuing to do that to ensure that we're not affected by any supply chain challenges. So again, thank you to uh, John, Tony, and Ross for all their efforts there and as well to our vendors in cooperating with us and assisting us to ensure that we continue to receive inventory on a daily basis. Distribution centers. Over the past several months, Tony and I have been out visiting our distribution centers across the continent. Tony was visiting New Jersey and Atlanta, and I had the privilege of visiting Los Angeles and Atlanta as well. We were, open, we were welcomed with open arms from our employees. It was a pleasure seeing some of our old faces, as well as meeting some of the new employees. Although it was a business trip, it felt more like a family vacation, because we just felt like being at home. They made us feel like being at home, which was great. Uh, I personally want to thank Anthony and Jeff for their hospitality. And we do have other visits lined up. We are committed to uh, coming out to uh, the DCs again. Um, spoke to Tony. We want to ensure that we're there more often. Um, interacting with our leaders as well as our employees out there in the DCs. Um, Walkthroughs, just looking at the warehouse, suggesting some improvements, looking at the processes, and working closely with everyone out there. So looking forward to that. With uh, distribution centers, um, we're also looking at continuous improvements. And continuous improvements is an important aspect, especially when a business like ours continues to grow. And we are focusing on that. Um, if I can get your attention up onto the screen, we have a few videos here from our uh, leaders in our distribution centers. And they'll walk you through some of uh, their improvements as well as uh, what they're currently doing and what's in hand in the future. So have a look at the screen. Good morning, my name is Jeff Smith. I'm the DC leader from the Atlanta and Roma office and welcome to All Hands Meeting. 
Hi everyone, uh, this is Brian Harvey. I'm the DC leader here in New Jersey, and I wanted to highlight some accomplishments and continuous improvements that we have been working on over the past six months. Hi, good morning. Hope everybody's enjoying the all hands meeting so far. Um, I'm Anthony from our uh, LA uh, warehouse uh, operations, and i uh, just like to talk about a couple of uh, major achievements that we've uh, accomplished this year so far. Hi everyone, my name is Carmine Romano, also known as Carm. I am the DC leader for Woodbridge. Um, I'm going to take a few minutes to point out some major accomplishments, some continued improvements, and a shout out to the team. Our first accomplishment is in our office area where we installed new computers for our office staff uh, to become more efficient as this certainly speeds up our daily tasks for them uh, with our new computers. Um, one of the ones that we've done was uh, create a bigger workplace in our art shop. We expanded our art shop, added more work tables, um, so it's more efficient for the employees to work and take on any big projects that uh, come our way. First off, major accomplishments. Number one, we have overall fill rate year to date of 90.3% versus the goal of 92%. And a return rate year to date of 2.37 versus a goal of 3.25. And we have produced 5,000 481 corner samples year to date. The first item that we've focused on are the boards that we have in the warehouse. Uh, these boards are now updated on a weekly and daily basis. I have a board called Continuous Improvement. Uh, this board lists the department that the improvements are being done on. I've expanded it further by putting the list of items and the completion date when they're being done. Our second accomplishment um, <clears throat> is year to date for our direct return rate, we were sitting at 1.78%, which is something to uh, certainly be proud of that we're certainly trying to make sure that we send out the best product uh, with the least amount of returns to our facility. Um, lastly, we added um, production boards in each department. It, has, it creates more visibility on where the orders are at, where we're at for the day, making sure we get all the orders out on time. We've been fortunate enough to have all new lighting put in the office and the warehouse combined. Every light in the facility is brand new LED lighting. Lastly, we added cross-training all employees um, in all departments, not just one. So if you're in our length department, you know how to cut a chop. If you're in our chop department, you know how to join in a, uh, a join frame for the art shop, etc. Just so that everybody's all on hands and able to do any kind of job that we need them to do in any department. Our, our second item that we focused on was the Art Shop 2. This is a fairly new section that was uh, built. Um, we've relocated the canvas department from the Art Shop 1 and we placed them in the Art Shop 2, uh, giving them more room for them to function and work. In today's spotlight, I'd like to spotlight Joanne Kim, who's our new office leader, and then welcome her if you haven't already and know that she's coming in, she's hit the ground running and love her determination and her attitude. I wanted to acknowledge a few of our team members. Our first team member is Alfredo. Alfredo, as of August, will be a Roma team member for a total of 20 years, um, which is a great accomplishment, something that should be celebrated. Um, Alfredo is our chop boxer, our shredder, our picker, um, he does, everything that's asked of him and he's really a great team member to have. Um, Kimberly on our art shop, um, she's done an amazing job. She's, um, you know, fairly new, um, but she's uh, able to do pretty much anything in the art shop uh, from printing, mounting, cutting, joining, assembly. I mean, she does it all. She helps out in the photo frame department. Um, so I'd like to just uh, highlight her. She does so much and she's, she's learned it in such a little bit of time. Um, a second team member that I would like to acknowledge is Videl. Uh, Videl, another long-term uh, Roma team member here who has been working diligently in our mirror department, um, essentially working there by himself uh, throughout the year doing the, doing the mirrors for us, which is, which is just great. Um, always working diligently, um, whether it's in our mirror department or in our joint frame department. Um, Danny also has taken on a role for um, doing big orders for our joints. He's learned how to join very well now. Um, he cuts uh, also. Um, he's doing a really great job in the join mirror slash art department and assisting uh, with big projects. So he's uh, actually stepped up in that role quite uh, big there for us. And lastly, Josh 
Um, he's, uh, you know, basically my my get around guy. Wherever I need him, uh, we, we put him in that spot. He's just a nice guy and just fits in wherever we need him. Box length, I mean, he's learning new things every day. Um, we can pretty much put him anywhere um, and he just gets the job done. So great job, Josh. And lastly, I want to give a huge heartfelt thank you to the entire Atlanta DC team for all their hard, hard work and their dedication to Roman Molding. Thank you. I would like to give gratitude and a shout out to my entire team in the warehouse. Um, you are all uh, exceptional workers. Uh, you guys made me feel like um, a part of the family from day one. I've been here for about a year and a few months and uh, we've been through thick and thin. Um, when it was time uh, to get things done, uh, everybody stepped up and all did their part uh, from the link department to photo frames to uh, join and cutting to corner samples. Uh, everybody's been just uh, marvelous. Thank you very much and keep up the good work everyone. Lastly, just I would like to just uh, say thank you to everybody here at uh, LADC um, for an amazing job so far with us this year. I know we got a long year ahead of us still, another half of the year. Um, it's going to get busy and we're ready. We're ready to grind. So that's my little note from LA. Um, hope everybody enjoys. And lastly, um, I really want to have a shout out, send a shout out to our whole team here in New Jersey. Um, I know with supply chain, um, other challenges, um, it's been an interesting six months, but this team is really just a, a great group to work with. Um, and it's always a pleasure to come to work. Um, and I truly appreciate everybody's efforts. Thank you very much. And I hope you enjoy the rest of the audience. Great. Thank you. Uh, I think that deserves a big round of applause to our, uh, to our leaders in the DCs and Carmen here as well. Um, doing a great job, um, working constantly, trying to look at how we can improve our production facilities. And as you can see in the videos, um, they're doing a, an awesome job. So again, uh, great, great job guys. Keep up the great work.